First verse. D, C, D, G, G, F. Then we'd say basically the same thing on the, we go to the F sharp diminish. Here we go. Then we go come down to the C. It's basically the same thing on the E diminished that we did on the F sharp. Then we go to the here we go. Then we get into the chorus. So that second part goes like this. So we're do the same chord we played on the intro. Oh, here we go. Just play it twice. Then go to the G with your fourth finger. seventh on the last chord just because it sounds really nice to go into the chorus which goes like this now when I'm playing the chorus I arpeggiate that F, F sharp dominant seven I mean F sharp dom, um, diminished seven like that do that you can just go I didn't know what to do there cuz like she does this really weird thing with her voice so I just went and just sound you don't have to do that but I think that sounds really cool. It's kind of gives you that jazzy sound. But it's not too jazzy that you'll no one will want to listen. Okay, so we go to F sharp, we go A, B flat, C. again. Okay, so after we go to the chorus the first time, we go. She kind of goes like that. You got like an F9, F major 9 to an F6. Good thing to do is just watch what my hands are doing. Go over it. That's how I learn songs. If I'm not learning them by ear and I'm looking at a tutorial, just look at their hands. You can never go wrong. And I'm on the second verse right now. Go to the E down, E diminished seven in any form possible you want. It goes up the whole keyboard, so just play it wherever. 
wherever you are. And then you go into the last chorus, which, which you already know. Then after you play that, you go into the D major 7. So we are... D major 7 and the way I'm voicing that right now is like that but you could just play it with the octave then we go to a B major 7 which I'm voicing like this B flat and A flat, B flat, and A, C, D, F. Then come down, C, B flat to the same chord. Then you go back to the B flat major 7, then you go to a C, I play a C 9 with a 13 here. Then you just play the chorus out. And that's the whole song. So, let me see. I can't remember what it was. I was teaching you from the, right here. The little bridge part. One more. C sharp, E, F sharp, A. Then maybe just go arpeggiate it. Come down to the C. Same chord, B flat major 7, B flat A, C, D, F. And just go through it again. So, um, I know this is a kind of a complicated song for uh, if you're a beginner, but just keep watching it, watching the hands, and also very highly recommend listening to the song over and over if you're having a lot of trouble because it'll eventually come to you and you may even you'll probably hear parts that I missed you'll probably maybe even correct the melody where in parts where it was wrong because I know it's not completely right but it's just a guideline but um yeah there you have it love by Keisha Cole <laughs>